who liked who more? My first impressions of Greg were... If your swagada was an animal, what would she be? What was our first argument about? What do you like best about your spouse? Good afternoon, amigos, from... Flower Mound, Texas. Belton, Texas. Well, we we're really enjoying this time with our families. We're really missing one another, but today we decided to make the absolute best out of it. While we were apart, we thought it would be fun to put each other's memories to the test and answer a few questions about each other. Now, while we both have the same list of questions, we have not discussed the answers amongst us. So without further ado, here is the story of how Greg and I met plus a few extra questions about one another. When was the very first time we saw each other? The very first time we saw each other, the very first time I remember seeing Hillary was at a Halloween party in, uh, man, what year is that? I guess that would have been October of 2010, I believe. October of 2010, so my best friend was dating her best friend uh, or they did at one point. I'm not sure if they're still dating then, but so that we kind of had mutual friends. So that's how we ended up at the same party. The very first time Greg and I saw one another was in October 2010 at a Halloween party and Greg was Drew Brees, but that was the first time I laid eyes on him. What were your first impressions of one another? Uh, my first impression uh, of Hillary was Wow, this <laughs> this girl is never going to talk to me, or why is she talking to me? I can't believe she's talking to me. Uh, I mean, that pretty much sums it up right there. Obviously, obviously, she's beautiful, she's gorgeous, she's she's intelligent, uh, way out of my league. So I was just crossing my fingers, hoping that she continued to talk to me, and I still still have those fingers crossed to this day. My first impressions of Greg were were that he was insanely tall. I thought, this is crazy. I can't take this guy home because I don't even know if he'll fit through the doorways in my parents' house because he is so tall. But other than that, he has such pretty light green eyes. So my first impressions were that he was very tall, but his eyes and his smile were. How did we meet? Well, this one's very interesting because although I think we met at that Halloween party, um, I think the first time we actually met, we had exchanged phone numbers via Facebook because that's what you did. And um, Greg, we had agreed to meet at the library, but then later found out that neither one of us actually tried hard at all to find each other because it was going to be really awkward to like meet at the library on the quiet floor. So I said, it was the week before finals, I said, come over to my apartment, we'll study. So Greg knocks on the door. And I answer because I'm obviously expecting him. He had texted me and said like, hey, I'm on my way, I think I'm close. And I open the door with a big smile on my face and Greg is standing there, so handsome, and says something along the lines of, uh, is Hillary there? That's how we met, ladies and gents. I had messaged Hillary on Facebook uh, like a real man. <laughs> And, uh, uh, and, and asked her, like again, like a real man, if she was in my anatomy class, full well knowing she was absolutely not in my anatomy class, but that, amigos, I told you she's out of my league. I have absolutely no game whatsoever. The only thing I could think of was ask if she was in my class, knowing she wasn't, but hey, she responded. We started talking from there. Uh, we were supposed to meet at the library, and it turns out, like years later, we found out we were both at the library, but then we both kind of didn't really want to meet at the library because we felt like that was going to be awkward. It was during finals time, right before finals, and so it was quiet. Everybody's kind of studying, uh, and so we, we met up after that, but uh, that's not exactly the best game on my part, but hey, I got the girl and I married her, so uh, I, I feel okay about it. Who liked who more? Who liked who more? I think that, uh, at least from my, I haven't seen what she has said, but I feel like it's evident from my end who liked who more. Uh, again, I never had a question in my mind. Again, I'm super interested to see what, she, what she'll say, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I liked her way more. Definitely, I liked Greg more and probably still do. What was our first date? Now, I feel like in any 
relationship the girl should be the one that remembers this sort of like nostalgia thing and I don't really know the one that comes to mind that stands out the most was Valentine's 2011 when we went to a super fancy restaurant and uh, we had to wait because Greg didn't make a reservation because we don't plan and the hostess comes to the front waiting area and says, the Kennens, your table's right this way. And Greg and I were like, wait, uh, no, we just started dating. Um, we're not married. Uh, and it was really awkward. And I didn't want to eat my food because I was in a tight dress and that was our first date. And the first date I remember, and I think she'll say the same thing, was Valentine's Day. Uh, that same same year we had started dating. And it was super fancy. It took her to some ridiculously expensive restaurant because I'm a, I'm a goob, I don't know, I, I don't know, it's just what you do. And we walk in and they said something like, Mr. and Mrs. Kennan, and obviously at that time her last name was not Kennan and I feel like it was embarrassing for her, a little bit embarrassing for me because it was like, wait, uh, we're not, we're just dating. Uh, but I, I think that was a little foreshadowing uh, for us all and all those, it was like a little awkward at that time. Uh, it was still funny and quick side note that she may have forgot to mention is that earlier in that day when she met my mom and my little sister for the first time who was two at the time I believe, I think my little sister called her by my ex-girlfriend's name. So that was uh, uh, just a pretty good, pretty good overall start to the date I would say. Who would you cast to play your spouse in a movie? Who would you, I would cast, I don't know who I would cast to play as my spouse in a movie. I don't know actors or actresses very well. And I don't know if there's anybody that could quite match Laweta, who could quite match Hillary, her energy, her enthusiasm, her her quirks, her weirdness, uh, her beauty, her her everything. Uh, and I mean, she's pretty good on camera. I think uh, I think she should just play herself if 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 that time comes. I don't really know. I don't really know any actors or actresses if I want to say go or that route. I guess I would have to say Liam Neeson. That's like the one movie that I really like is Taken and I feel like he's just so fierce. So I'm gonna have to go with Liam. Although a lot of people say Greg looks like Leonardo DiCaprio. Which I could get on board with too. Get it? Get on board. <laughs> too soon. When did you realize your spouse was the one? This one's easy for me. I don't remember the date, but I do remember it was a snow week. North Texas was completely iced in. Classes were canceled for a full week. No one could drive anywhere because you couldn't get out of the apartment gates and such. And Greg and I had so much quality time. I feel like that was a full week of us really getting to know one another from watching movies to playing games. I feel like that full week of being trapped in our apartments was um, turned out to be really special. February or January, February, March of that year, there's a big ice storm and like school was canceled for like a week, a week and a half. Like during that week, I believe it was in January, we spent a ton of time together. I think it was during that time that we were able to like really take a huge stride in our relationship. If your suegra was an animal, what would she be? If my suegra was an animal, if my mother-in-law was an animal, what sh would she be? I did a little Googling. Here's what I came up with. Now bear with me. If my mother-in-law was an animal, she would be an orangutan. <laughs> now, wait, hold on a minute. Here's why I picked an orangutan. Here's what it says. Here's what uh, worldwildlife.org says. The bond between an orangutan mother and her young is one of the strongest in nature. During the first two years of life, the young rely entirely on their mothers for both food and transportation. The mom stays with their young for six to seven years, teaching them where to find food, what and how to eat, and the technique for building a sleeping nest. Female orangutans are known to visit their mothers until they reach the age 15 or 16. So I picked or orangutan. I feel like I want to say it was a Spanish accent, Mexican accent, uh, because I feel like my, my mother-in-law, mi suegra, is just a wonderful mom. She cares about her kids and her family more than anything else in life and she would do anything for her kids, anything for uh, really anybody in her family and I think that's a special trait, a special quality, uh, it's something that, that all, that most people don't have and definitely certainly most animals don't have and I think that's something that makes her uh, an extremely good mother-in-law, an extremely good uh, uh, mother 
and uh, just a, just an overall unique person. So whenever we have these swagger jokes, I know some people take them the wrong way. We wouldn't make fun of, I wouldn't make fun of her, and Hillary wouldn't make fun of my mom if we didn't absolutely love them to death. I would like to tell my mother-in-law that she is a magical unicorn, but I realize that's not a real animal, so I'm going to have to go with a lion because they're beautiful yet fierce. I feel like that's the best answer I can come up with, right? You can't go wrong with that, right? What was our first argument about? I remember this like it was yesterday because there's probably only been, I don't know, maybe like one other argument. And we were in the Chicken Express line at North Texas and you were supposed to present your coupons when you were ordering. We got up to the window and Greg had chosen not to present said coupon in the drive-thru as it was asked and the lady said, I can't take the coupon. You didn't present it when you were ordering and so we had to stand there a long time and get it all figured out. They ended up accepting the coupon but if Greg would have just let me read him the directions and presented the coupon when it was asked for, then we wouldn't have had to ask for the manager. And somehow that turned into like, well he did it. Somehow that turned into like an argument. <laughs> but we still got that coupon, know what I mean? I believe our first argument was probably, the one that I remember is through, I can't remember the fast food restaurant, it's through a, a chicken fast food restaurant. I was driving, I was ordering, Hillary had a coupon, and when I was ordering, or before I ordered, she said, make sure you mention I've got a 10% coupon, or buy one, get one free coupon. And I kind of heard her, and, and okay, and whatever. And it said the order, and didn't tell them I had a coupon. And in my head, I said, I'll just tell them when we get up there. But uh, that just kind of escalated into, <laughs> into a deal. I, I don't even realize or remember what the, the whole argument was about. I do remember it was about me not telling them uh, that we had a coupon at the chicken place though. And I mean, I don't know if it's good or bad. Usually the arguments we have are few and far between. And when we do have arguments, we can always look back and laugh. And it's usually about something, uh, something silly. And if it's not about something silly, then usually I look back and laugh and realize she was right anyways. What do you like best about your spouse? The thing I like the most about Hillary, which if any of you have watched our videos, you know she's the, the real star of the show. There are, I could go on and on and on about, about all the great things about Hillary, but I think uh, the one thing that maybe covers a lot of them is I think she is carefree and she just, she's just herself. And I don't think she has too many worries or she's not, uh, I don't know, I think that's just a very unique quality in these days or maybe maybe throughout time to to be yourself and not to be afraid of who you are to act to act silly i feel like she will she'll dance or, or be goofy or whatever no matter who is watching or especially when people are watching just to make somebody laugh or just to be yourself just because she wanted to and i think i think that's a an exceptional trait although sometimes I feel maybe embarrassed depending on what kind of public setting we're in by her her terrible terrible dance moves uh, it's it's probably whenever she does that I, I can't help but uh, look at her and, and just think about how much I love her and how how rare uh, a trait that is that's certainly something that that I am personally working with I mean it's hard to uh, I don't know. It, it's hard to it's hard to express yourself. Like I said the other day, I feel like sometimes in in, uh, in Spanish I can be if I'm speaking Spanish I can be a little bit different of a person. And I don't know if that's that's good or bad. It is 100% uh, the truth. Uh, but it's 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 just uh, maybe in English I have inhibitions that uh, or there's something inhibiting me from expressing. Uh, what I want to say or how I want to say it or who I truly am that I don't necessarily feel in Spanish and I don't think Hillary has any of those. She is just 100% uh, herself and another thing I love about her, uh, I'll leave it to so this video isn't too good, she is just that she does want to make people laugh. I think Hillary's ultimate goal in the world or at least, I don't know, his ultimate goal, I think she just likes to make people smile, she likes to make, make people laugh, I think she'll say or do anything and when she's talking to people she will find the funniest way to say something just to make that person laugh. Uh, and I think that's just uh, 
to bring laughter and a smile to another person's face is is truly a gift and she is extremely good at it and, and I'm blessed to although I try not to laugh at all of her jokes because I don't want her to get a big ego uh, she she's funny she's funny this is hard because I feel like I love everything a creepy amount about Greg but I would have to say his determination. I think on some days there are days that I tend to be lazy and tend to just um, sometimes get discouraged or things like that. On a bad day, Greg is the absolute best partner I could ever ask for because he's determined to get the work done. He's determined to spend quality time together off camera and not doing things like this. And I think his determination is hard to beat. He's just, but that's only one thing. I had a lot of fun making this video thinking about uh, Hillary and, and how we met and the development of our relationship. And uh, like I said, Hillary really is this channel. I'm just the cameraman and the editor. She does everything else and she's the real driving force behind that. And, and we couldn't, I couldn't do this without her. I know a lot of people just would, could not work with their spouse uh, but Hillary and I work together every single day, literally every single day, no days, hashtag no days off, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, it's really, it's really the best part about our living situation is being able to spend that time together and grow our relationship uh, even more. And I don't know, it, it, it truly is special and hopefully it shows on camera. I think it does and that's why you, you all are so interested in how we met. Uh, but I don't know. Hopefully you all like this, this, this video a little bit different, not about Mexico, about us, but let us know what you think. Hopefully you guys got a good giggle out of that. I still don't know Greg's answers at this point, so I'm hoping we are on the same page about a lot of these and that hopefully he called my mom a magical unicorn as well. Uh, thank you guys. This is the story of how we met, um, from each of our perspectives. Not sure how well it's going to match up, but here we are today and uh, we are able to make it work somehow. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe to our channel. Click that bell, that way you get notified. Every time. It feels so weird doing that by myself. We post a video and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. See, I need Greg's help because I can't even think of it myself. Okay, bye.